Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Blake the Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on uh, how to, uh, you know, uh, make a skin in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Um, now a lot of people um, are having troubles with this. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't have Photoshop. Oh, it's a lot of money. Oh, I don't want to buy it. Um, well, this version you don't need Photoshop. I mean, it may be harder to make the skin that you actually want. But it's a lot easier to do. Alright, so first, um, I'm on Windows 10, so just open up your Internet Explorer, whatever you use. Um, I use Microsoft Edge because I feel like it. Um, and just open up, uh, uh, first go to google.com or whatever search engine you use. Um, I like Google because it's popular and it's amazing. Um, Alright, and then what you want to do is you just want to type in um, really, really anything. Um, just search up a pattern, you know, like maybe, here, I got this, ready? Forest, I can't spell forest for life, forest, burial, or, I, I can't, okay, forest burial, alright, let's look that up, can I, okay, um, we're gonna go to images, and then, I think it's camo, oh, okay, well, it, it comes up with, oh, oh, okay, um, I'll be right back. Okay, you know what, so, um, I just realized I already had something, but, yeah, basically you do that, and, alright, so, now you have it downloaded, um, so, first, what you need to do is download this thing, Pixelin image, um, thing, converter, I will, uh, leave a link in the description to download that for my Dropbox, actually, no, I can't do that, I suck at life, um, whatever all right i'll send a link to uh download this and it to download this which are the only two things that you need actually no i'm sorry it's um paint.net um so you need to download this uh no viruses no nothing so what you do is you open up paint.net um so you open up paint.net and uh you just take whatever thing that you have um and you just drag it into here um, so you're dragging this thing. You don't have to create anything, you don't have to do any of that stuff, you don't have to do anything like that. Uh, you just gotta go to File, and you have to go Save As. Um, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually, do, I'm gonna actually uh, try to do something real quick. Alright, you know what? Um, open. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do something real quick, actually. Um, just to sh show you an example. Um, Save As. Uh, and then you want to go just, uh, save it, except go down here to the bottom and you want to save it as a TGA. Um, and then just click save. Alright, um, now you just click OK and, alright, alright, now keep going. Uh, and you need to open up, um, VTF edit. Um, so you need to open that up. Um... Is this the pick? Is this the TGA? Okay, this is the TGA. I don't know why it's saved here. Um, and you want to go to File and go Import. Uh, once you go to Import, find wherever that TGA is. Um, open up the TGA. Uh, just press OK. And uh, now it should be on. Just go File and go Save As and save it as a VTF, which is the only thing you can save it as. Oh, you need to create a name for it. Um, I'm just going to create a uh, Titan. We'll call it that. And just click save. Alright. Um, now that you have everything ready, uh, you want to open up your game CSGO. Alright. Um, real quick, I have to go uh, change my settings uh, real quick. Or scene. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, just ignore this. This is something um, on my PC. It's just stupid. I can't get it off. Um, so um, don't add in my friends because they probably won't add you back anyway. Um, um, so yeah, this is CSGO, this is my account, um, and so what you want to do is go into Options, oh, give me a sec, um, okay, well, I'm, whatever, that's just gonna be here, alright, go to, um, go to Game Settings, and you need to and enable the de Developer Console, um, so, you just turn that on, and, uh, go back, and there, um, on your keyboard, if you have an ESC button, um, under the ESC, there should be like a squiggly Congratulations! Line. You have been selected to take a quick survey. I hate my life. Um, but, um, alright, so, um, just click that button, and, uh, you should be able to be good. 
Um, and you click that button, and once you click that button, it will open up the console. I changed my bind, so my uh, bind is this. Uh, all right, so you're gonna open up um, workshop, and you're gonna do workshop workbench, and you're gonna open that up, and it should open up this little thing. Um, and uh, then he goes, um, it really depends what you wanna do. Uh, I like to do gunsmith, just because it makes the gun black, and you can choose the pattern, because it goes actually over everything. So then you go choose your pattern, um, you want to go find wherever it is, so I like to go into C first, and then I'll go to my account, users, um, me, and then I'll go to, um, desktop and find my Titan of you. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so now, this is really <laughs> stupid looking, but this is a Titan, um, uh, AK. Hi, Nick. And, um... So you can change this by going clicking this button, and you can get like an op maybe. Um, this still looks really dumb, but what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, uh, and you can change the thing, the weapon. You um, still have internet? Still internet? Yes, it's the oh new my. router. Huh? It's the new router. Do we have internet infinitely? All night? Now, yeah. <sighs> but hey, you know I'm gonna be up till like three. Oh yeah, I know you are. Alright, so then you can um, take this button down here, and it'll change the wear of it to Battle Scar. This is the worst possible condition you can get the gun in. Um, or uh, Factory New, which is the best possible wear. I mean, the Factory New one actually looks really hey. nice, but... Not 1030. Wrap it up, shut it down. Not like shut it down, shut it down. Yeah, I, I know what to do, Nick. Like I'm... Ninja. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> My brother's talking in the background. Um, you know, you can maybe, if you want a USPS. Okay, that looks really dumb. Alright, but there's another thing that you can do, um, it really depends, I haven't experienced with the other things, I mean, you can do solid color, which, um, you need to actually change the color of the things, so, if you want to do this one red, um, you gotta really experiment with this to figure out what colors are what, what things are where, so yeah, and color two, maybe this is like the silencer or something. I don't know how USPSs work. Okay, that, that, that's the trigger. Alright. And then, maybe, the, what is this? I have no idea. Um, but so, yeah. You can kind of, um, you know, just mess around with this. Um, like, you can do, my favorite is probably the airbrushed. Um, because it looks really cool. Um, so maybe you can make a USPS hot pink or something like that. Where it's just, like, all colors like that you know um that would actually not be half bad of a skin but it wouldn't have to have it on the silencer i'm i'm not that um i'm not that uh you know nice or i don't even know how to do that yet so let's go to multicolored actually um it really depends what gun you're using um but if you go to the ak-47 you can see here it doesn't it does everything but the um standard thing so it keeps everything else and um you can experiment with this, and you can change the colors, you know, maybe you want this. Okay, that actually doesn't look bad. I mean, it could be like an AK... Lego. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, um, I don't, I don't create skins, I'm just making this video so the purpose of how do you guys do, how, on how to do this. Um, you know, let's switch up the colors here, you know, let's go for a, uh, go for a yellow. And you can experiment with this, it doesn't really matter what you want to do. Um, I'm actually, I, <laughs> this would be a nice AK to actually be in the game, AK Lego. I mean, it would be weird, but it works in a way. Um, so I haven't really experienced with everything else. Uh, you can put Stat Trek on it, you can show a name tag on it. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, variant, I really, that just variants the, the settings and stuff. Well, that actually doesn't look that nice. I mean, it does, it actually looks pretty nice. Um, so, as you can see, factory new here. It looks all factory new. That's a factory new AK Lego. This is a battle scarred AK Lego. Yeah, you don't want the battle scarred ones. Um, or at least that's the worst condition you can get it in battle scarred. I mean, the best condition you can get it in battle scarred is about. Mm, mm, come on. That's well worn. So, this is the best condition you can get it in battle, battle scarred. Still looks crappy, but I, I guess it, it cuts it. Uh, well worn, still doesn't look too nice. Field tested, still doesn't look too nice. Now, minimal wear is usually the time when it looks nice. Yeah, this looks nice. 
um, and then you can continue. Uh, so yeah, uh, I can't upload things right now, but I'll teach you how to do that later. Um, I'm just gonna experience with, with this Lego skin for for a quick for a quick minute. Um, okay, that actually looks really cool. Um, but too bad I'm not pro. Um, I'm gonna go mess around with this more. So maybe we do solid color. What is that? To, oh, that just makes it solid. All right, and we can do none. So none does absolutely nothing. Um, gunsmith. I actually think gunsmith doesn't really change much. It just makes the off look cooler. Um, we can make like an alt black pearl. It could be like an awesome uh, thing. I don't know. Do whatever you want. I'm not the boss of you. Um, I mean, do whatever floats your boat. Um, that's all I gotta say. Um, now you can do scope and other things up here, I think, but you need um, Photoshop for that to actually do the things. Um, actually, there's multiple things you can do here. You can inspect um, or you can change the area. Um, where's that? Uh, or the all right workbench. So it shows you on like a workbench workbench angle. Um, so yeah, that looks cool. Um, so you can uh, change your oven. You can't inspect it though. Man, a, a M4 Lego would not look nice. What about a regular M4? Hmm. Regular M4 Lego. That actually, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I, it would looks like more like something that would happen if you like died, but I I think you get the drift. All right, so um, yeah, those are just the uh, little things. Um, I mean, you can go through any weapon in the game. Um. The only thing you can't do is the knife. Um, at least I don't think so. I know I know people have made knife skins, but I think you need to do that on a whole different thing. Um, you know, it's a lot different than making knife skins. I know that. Um, so um, yeah, it really just matters whatever floats your boat. Um, you can do whatever. I don't really care what you do with it. Valve doesn't care what you do with it. I, I honestly don't care and then you want to save it um, just anywhere you know it doesn't really matter like you do it blah, 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 blah. and then you can hit submit uh, once you hit submit um, you have to get an image of the gun so what I would do is I would take a screenshot on CSGO and then upload an image but um, you I think you need an image put a title blah, blah. you put this blah, blah. And then you need your TGA file and your VTF file. Just find your random TGA file um, wherever it was stored. Um, I'm gonna go in my C folder and go find this um, and see what's going on. This video won't be up till like the day after I post it because uh, yeah, YOLO. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look at my desktop um, and go to the TGA, which is right here. Um, so yeah. Um, you need a picture, uh, description, valid thing. Um, I think you need a. Oh, whoopsies. I just tabbed out of the game. Alright, um, we'll forget that ever happened. Um, then you just click yep, and then you can't hit publish yet because I still need a, uh, image. Um, but yeah, you can just upload that to the workshop there, and, uh, there you go. That's basically how you make skins, guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, um, I mean, you don't even have to have a TGA file or a pattern. You can just do it, like, regularly with uh, spray paints and stuff, I think. I think so. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, yeah. Um, this is the most awkward um, outro I've ever done. Whatever. Um, you know what? Uh, just bye, guys. Um, I'll see you in another live. Alright, you know what? I'm done. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> my outros are so sucky. Alright, um, oh yeah, look at my rank. I'm probably not- By the way, this is only by comp. I mean, I've played a- I've played- I'm not- If you wanna see, I will show you- I will show you. I haven't even completed very many missions. I've only completed those couple. And they only gave me, like, one rank up. That's it. The rest is all comp. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!